you to see the design and the number of people and it's only about 7.15 in the morning. This is a Tuesday morning, May the 5th. And of course this is the shrine type architecture that is the landmark of Thailand. and an international airport merchandise shop. On and on and on. There goes the Russian airport. There's a Delta. We'll see if we can get it again. There's the Thai. Uh, I'm checking, uh, yeah, I want you to determine what airline that is. Oh, where is the airline? Oh, it's a Oh, okay. And there's Garuda. Okay. Well, thank you. Thank you. Where? Thank you. And that's a 747. Check. Which is wonderful. Oh, yes. We, see, we're depending on you to do such a good job that when we get home, we'll say, if it weren't for her, we wouldn't be here. <laughs> Thank you. Okay, we'll start out right here. We're in, as I said, the business class, and we moved back from what is called the bulkhead, a very thirsty, back to a better view, because the plane isn't full, and that was great. And then back behind the economy class. Now I want you to listen to this uh, information that we're being given. And we're getting ready now to taxi out to the runway. If you can understand it, you're ahead of me.
for the foreign passport. You have to clear customs. And being from the USA and being in Taipei, Taiwan, we are a foreigner. Carousel number six for Delta Airlines baggage. I believe there's a few people that have come in. For the most part, they all flew Delta. Flight 56 out of Bangkok, Thailand. Wonderful to have your personal escort. Do you think there's people wanting transportation? except there's 12 hours difference. It's lovely. La La Sheraton. Well, here it is, the 5th of May. And uh, this is in the lobby of the Sheraton Lai Lai here in Taipei, Taiwan. We had a very good night's rest and we had breakfast. And I don't know the reason for this entertainment, but we're seeing some of the Taipei dances of Taiwan. I want you to notice their feet, their shoes on, on little blocks. <laughs> 
The reason you see some interference is that we are here in the lobby and people come and go. French fries, uh, and <laughs> <laughs> cheeseburger and everything. Right, this young lady's getting water and then milkshake and a double cheeseburger. That's our order. Well, we had to try a McDonald milkshake and it is thick, very good. These buildings have been here since pre-1942. Taiwan was Formosa. People are much more solemn here and somber than they are in Thailand. They don't seem to be a happy, happy people, but they are very courteous when they wait on you. Very courteous.
says welcome. There it says welcome. Now, we'll have to hang on to Victor Billy. Cosmetics, not women for hire. See, doesn't that just ruin it all? Now we're back in the lobby of the hotel, and there's some color for you. And there's the time in Jeddah, Singapore, Taipei, Tokyo, and Sydney. Well, it's about 9 a.m on Thursday, May the 6th, and we're looking out the window of our room, which is on the west side of the Sheraton Hotel. And what you're seeing there, all that construction is going on, in fact, even in front of the hotel, the city is building an underground system, a subway. And it will take about six years to complete, so there are a lot of areas that are torn up right now. That's a major job. We're not finding Taiwan quite as heavily trafficked, or I should say Taipei, quite as heavily trafficked as we found Bangkok this time of day. We had a sunshine out today. Yesterday was uh, overcast quite a bit and even rained somewhat in the morning. But as you can see, they still have their, what we call, pollution problems. Let's pick up this flag here. The Republic of China. This building um, is a government building. We're also here at the La La Sheraton Hotel, right in the middle of a lot of government complexes. So today, we're going to do a little sightseeing as such. We're all settled in a very lovely room. We did move from one room that did not have as much space in it, nor a very interesting look out the window. But on the other hand, now we're enjoying this room tremendously, and we're enjoying the sun being out, and we'll do some sightseeing. Taipei, Taiwan, May the 6th, 1993. Seemingly a good bus system. And then they uh, told us that they also have trains. Good train system out of here. Interesting building. Let's see if we can find out a little of the history on that with a rotunda. In Ta the country of Taiwan. Taiwan is shaped roughly like a tobacco leaf. It's an island that's 240 miles long from tip to tip and 85 miles wide at its broadest points. It's located about 100 miles off the coast of southeastern China and between Japan and the Philippines on a line running northeast to southwest. It has about the same square miles as the country of Holland, about 14,000 square miles. Climate is subtropical. The language is spoken are Chinese in the Mandarin, and then there are two dialects, Amoy and Hakka. Mandarin is taught in the schools, and English and Japanese are widely spoken. The uh, Aborigines reached Taiwan in prehistoric times, and then the Chinese started coming about 1,400 years ago. The Dutch and the Spanish and the Japanese occupied from 1895 to 1945, and the present government was established January 1, 1912, after the fall of the Chiang Kai-shek dynasty. 
there are about 1.5 million visitors to Taiwan annually. And they have uh, hills and mountains that cover about two-thirds of the island. In fact, they have 62 mountains over 10,000 feet tall. Population of Taiwan exceeds 20 million. So for a country about the size of Holland, there's quite a number of people. Well, we uh, left the Sheraton about 20, 25 minutes ago, and we have walked to the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial. And we don't really know anything about it as such, but as we learn, I'll record it, and then you can learn along with us. Those uh, bonsai trees are characters as illustrated there of the Chinese language. The auditorium itself doesn't open until noon, and it's about 15 after 11. This is part of the grounds, the park area, as you can see. A lot of greenery. The inner gardens. And then we'll do the whole plaza area from beginning to the end. they can have as many as 17 days of rain, so we're very glad. Hello. Hello. <laughs> the colors there and the design I'm sure it all means something to the Chinese people, but... Perhaps we'll learn and perhaps we won't have that opportunity. This is uh, the building that would be related to our Capitol building in Washington, D.C. And then the long plaza in front of it and in the States, we would see the Washington Memorial at the end of the plaza. And there is the Republic of China, the Taiwanese flag. The flag of Taiwan. Coming down, but that means they had to walk up. And the fascination about going up these steps is that on the inside of the temple, is a statue of Chiang Kai-shek. Well, there are a total of 88 steps, and we have already accomplished 66 of them. And that's no mean task in this hot, humid weather. See what it says, no entry for those wearing slippers or slovenly dress. In other words, you can't come looking as though you're going to the beach or that you're having a Saturday afternoon of play. And this is their Shanghai Shack. Right. 
아니 마네킹 마네킹 아니야 Our replicas of a guard. There's one on either side. I don't think he's real, but he might be. I'll go find out. That was a disbeliever. He went up and talked with him. He just moved that rifle, so he is real. Perhaps it's about time for changing of the guards. Well, we're going to see the changing of the guard in about five minutes. They change every hour. Must be some sort of uh, height, weight, and endurance requirement to be a guard. Just like at the Kennedy Memorial in Washington. Like a tomb of the unknown soldiers. Right. The same thing. Now, when they have a changing of the guards, keep in mind each side there is one guard. And they'll be doing the same thing, so I'll try to. Both of these guards are perfectly synchronized.
ไปของเราเที่ยวอะไรไม่ขอปั่นเcame down row after row of steps into the theater building. This is what you saw. Many, many pictorial record of Shanghai chef and all the good that he did. And as Bill says, musical notes in any language are the same. Apparently that's the school song from the academy.
It even includes the update uh, such as Ronald and Nancy Reagan in Taipei for the 60th Republic of China National Day, October the 1071, and here the late president greets King Faisal of Saudi Arabia. And this depicts President Eisenhower, hailed by the people on a visit to the Republic of China, June 18, 1960. Here is a leader award from America's Freedom Foundation. Signing of the Sino-Japanese Peace Treaty. Chiang Kai-shek also wrote a book, A Soviet Union in China. Here's uh, MacArthur at the Sino-American military meeting in Taipei. And then with Douglas MacArthur in Taipei, where he come from Tokyo in 1950. So much memorabilia. And here is history and that this is the Chinese with a flying tiger commander, General Claire Chenault, in March 1942. The flying tigers, the B-25 group, was their salvation during World War II. And there he is in the Bay, uh, the Tokyo Bay Surrender Ceremony, September the 2nd, 1945. The signing took place on the USS Missouri. And here with President Franklin Delano Roosevelt and Prime Minister Winston Churchill. This is Madame Chang Chakat Chek speaking at the U.S. Senate and House on February the 18th, 1943. Right there on the podium. This is a tribute to the President Chang's everlasting contributions to the entire world. For more than half a century, the three principles of the people in faith execution of Dr. Sun, the one saying, which is the late President Chang with the National Revolution, founded upon those during those 50 years of his active career. Strove not merely for the welfare of the Chinese people, but also for that of the entire humanity. He, he it was who aggregated unequal treaties that had feathered the nations for one more century. Yet when Japan was brought to its knees, he was all for letting bygones by you bygones, giving the Japanese another chance. To secure world peace, the late President Chang was one of the first advocates of the United Nations. He had an active hand in the independence of Korea, Vietnam, and India. And he set agriculture, medical, and technology teams to more than 40 countries scattered all over Asia, Africa, and Latin America to improve the quality of lives and livelihood there. His ultimate goal would have been the Confucian Great Commonwealth, and he had exerted towards his achievements that late President Chang's contribution had been genuinely universal and permanent. This mural on the wall was painted by Lan Yin Ting, one of the world's ten most noted watercolorist. It's a landscape of Zuhu, T-Z-U-H-U. This is Chiang Kai-shek and the Mrs. Chang when they, he was elected China's first constitutional president in 1948. Well, we um, came out of the Chiang Kai-shek Memorial and decided to take a taxi back. It was so hot and humid. And the young lady at the information desk in the Memorial Hall wrote on a piece of paper the name of our hotel, the Lai Lai Sheraton. At least that's what we understood she was writing there. But communication is a little difficult when you don't speak Mandarin or their form of Chinese and they don't speak that much English. They do better than we do. Well, guess what? We ended up at the Hilton Hotel.
That was great. It was a wonderful life. So we just decided to have a little refreshment. How would you like that for an individual serving of a bowl of soup? That has noodles, beef, greens. Absolutely unbelievable for one person serving. One daughter, did he ask the waitress if she thought that would fill him up or should he order something else? And she said, I don't think it would even finish it. And there's a fresh fruit medley. That's what I'm having. Well, I'd say this is one of the older buildings. After we left the Hilton, the Lala Sheraton was only about five blocks, and so we just said, let us walk it. And that's the way to see the people and to see the sights. With all the construction going on, it has been a real labyrinth to walk just about five blocks. Trying to hurry up and get this glow of the sun. That's the first time we've seen the sun since we've been here in Taipei, which is basically only two days. As uh, pollution primarily and yesterday morning rain. But we're now seeing a building on beyond where we have previously looked out this window and been able to see the landscape. Now the sun has gone behind some clouds again. They say it could rain as many as 17 days in the month of May. So, we can expect some overcast. That's the clouds over the moving between us and the sun. I don't think half of these people have regular working hours because there's so many stalls and holes in the wall and different wares being offered. But anytime you look out, there are people, people, people. rooftop of buses. It's a little bit after five and all these buses I presume are taking people home from work but for some reason the traffic signal up there has stayed on red and the traffic going in a westerly direction is bottlenecked really, really bottleneck. Now it's beginning to come through. That light probably will stay green long enough to get them cleared through. Now they're moving. You don't see that much that's decorative. And that's a little eating place. They have um, stools in there. Just another intersection. Amigo. On our way to the World Trade Center. Well, we took a cab from our hotel to the World Trade Center. And this, uh, on the outside, and I'll do my best to get a 
outside view of it when we leave because it looks like I mean, it takes up about oh I'd say um, city block square that would equal okay. about five and all kinds of exhibits going on this week there's a lamp decorative lamp exhibit there is a auto parts and motorcycle exhibit and we're just going to tour right around the lighting first floor. Display. and this is a decorative lamps exhibition this is a display that takes place for the next three days an American pavilion auto parts and motorcycle parts and tools well attended now you know. We came up, took the escalator up to the second floor, and then we're looking down on the rural lighting symposium, the decorative lighting, all the companies that are represented. information that was in the morning in China News. These little key cars, they cost twice as much as a motorcycle but only half as much as a car. And so they're very protective and they're hoping they go over really good. Personal electric car, no pollution. These products are all exported. No retail, you can't go in there and buy anything unless you're a merchandiser and give an order. See there? This isn't the only store that handles this type of equipment. And we've passed many stores with everything from sporting goods to children's toys to luggage. Anything that you want. Leaf blowers. Amazing. All of us have bought Christmas lights made in Taiwan. 140 chasing lights. I think that's what we're doing is chasing the history of Taiwan products. Oh, look at the clocks. Even the clock in the shape of a violin or guitar or anything imaginable. Well, you want to make a picture with Lego lighting? Isn't that gorgeous? Well, we're in an area where there's a lot of windows, steel girders and windows, and you can see the design of the building. It's in a pink brick. This building um, is simply attached by a walkway. It's one of about five buildings that make up the World Trade Center. Taipei World Trade Center, that is. And on the outside, the flags. I see the Canadian and the French. And we'll see if we can't get that when we go to the outside. We're not too far from the airport, actually. This is like an erector set, just put together in different sections. It is huge, and when you come in, the escalator uh, in front of you begins your ascent to the different floors, but there's an atrium from the ground floor all the way up, and I believe there's seven floors.
Well, what do you think of this? In Taipei, Taiwan, the are of China. They're dressing like all the old Chinese gals now. There's glassware and porcelain. Oh, you could go wild in here. It's a good thing they don't sell retail in every shop because you never get through. Well, the only reason she sold matches is because it was a sample. Display. display. Right. All of this is export, wholesale. Yes, I do. Look at that pretty green handles on those. Aren't they pretty? Five piece. This is a good sharp set of cutlery. These little Disney characters, and they have a sign that says you need a license from Disney Company to buy those. Of course, here again, wholesale. London range, customer design, paperweights. We love it. Baby buggies, strollers, baby tenders. This is actually looking out the other side. You see the mountains? Mountains surround Taipei. Taipei is in the northern part. And I mentioned we were rather close to the airport. There's proof. you this coral. There's light pink, medium pink, dark pink, and red. And uh, it is said that coral was considered one of the seven most precious objects, depending on its quality, and it was looked at as more valuable than gold. Coral takes about 20 years to grow one inch and is still regarded as a rather rare and unique item. Taiwan is very fortunate that experts from around the world have classified the coral from the Taiwan Seas to be far superior to that of the coral coming from Italy or Japan. Now, Taiwan has achieved the title of Coral Kingdom with its production quantity reaching 80% of that of the world's. And of course, another mineral that they mine in Taiwan is the jade. Just absolutely gorgeous. And again, the pink coral. Look at the size of these. And there is the sapphire, the white sapphire. Pearl. Look at that. Oh, right out of the rock. And then the back coral. But they display more of the green and the colors of pink. There's coral rock that you find on the bottom of the ocean. Well, everybody's decided it was time for lunch. So we just may as well get in line and enjoy lunch as well. We're going to have the soup with noodles. Cabbage soup and the meat pottage noodles. Well, when in Rome do as the Romans do. So at the Trade Center, they have beef broth soup and cabbage and chopped noodle soup. And we're just sitting here enjoying it like all the other people who are primarily people who work here. I'm just doing that filming of that little paper bag says fried chicken because they do have Kentucky fried chicken in Bangkok. Haven't seen it here, but I'm sure they must have it since they have a McDonald's and a pizza place and everything else. And as Bill said, you don't come to Taiwan that you don't try an egg roll. China. That's right. Republic Taiwan, of Republic of China. That's a 
word association. There we are. Beef noodle soup. Here we see so much of it. And it cost about US one dollar and fifteen cents. Enough to last all day. Well, not only do they handle products from Taiwan, but they handle products from the different states in the United States. And I want you to look what represents Missouri. Nutra Nuggets, horse racing, and a little bit of everything. We're even capturing merchandise that is made by the U.S. Forest Products Association. All these products are made in the USA, and these offices find vendors here in Taiwan to sell the product. And if they can find a customer outside of Taiwan, they'll even ship to them. Okay, that's is Taipei. And that's where we have just spent two and a half hours, about three hours in fact. It's a marvelous experience. I showed you the adjoining building, it's all a part of the same complex. It's like Bangkok. This is Taipei, Taiwan, Republic of China. Nice street, nice area. I just wanted you to pick up on the song that's being played. They alternate. And we hear a lot of songs in English. Sogo is a recommended department store in Taipei. Number one restaurant. Diners Club. Number one, okay. Number one restaurant. Yeah, there we are. Sun Chi Restaurant. King on the road. Middle of the road. We're building a subway. Take a long time. Quite a decorative display here. 
We're up on the third floor now, and there's still more women's clothes. Valentino. Special. You know, this is the 10th floor here at the Soga. The bargain floor. And with Mother's Day coming, that accounts for a lot of the shoppers, but they have really good jewelry as well as bargain discount jewelry. Thank you very much. Very nice shop. Right. One more time. We'll just show you what's That's going on in here. Time. Saturday before Hello. Sunday. Well, we just did our fun thing on this floor, the tent. We got three blouses and had our hair washed, and now we're coming off the 11th to the 10th. And in fact, it goes on up to 12 floors where you can have a beauty culture. This is floor nine. Now keep in mind, the Sogo department store is at least uh, two city blocks wide. Thank you, Mom. Not yet. Not yet. I will. And I've picked up that sign yet, but I will. And this is.
No, no, Kentucky horses. Kentucky horses, oh, okay. Horses. He's the... Like Senate, Congress? Uh, manager of the country inside. Yeah, manager of the country, uh, okay. Uh, Taiwan. You can go to the East Coast. Yeah, nice no, I, I hope so. I see the children. What's the name of that river? What's the name of the river? Tansay. Tansay. Tansay River. Tansay River. Pion River. Pion River. All right. Pion River, Chinese say club. Entrance way. Well, I was trying to get the... Uh, hotel as we approached because it was much too large to get it close up and now I can almost say this at the lobby. Gorgeous. Sorry about the smog, but look at the view of this city. This gentleman was at the concierge is kind enough to bring us up to see a room and to see the view. What kind of game? Is that rug? Oh, uh, no, maybe uh, like, uh, you know, a plastic, plastic, uh, plastic, uh, a baseball? Plastic, uh, uh, no, 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 golf. 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 Oh, okay. Oh, practicing golf, yeah. learning golf. Oh, this yeah. is very right. lovely. What's the name of this river? That river, what's the name of it? The river. River. The, the water. Oh, uh, Kilong River. Kilong. 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 Yeah, Kilong. 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 Is that the same as this? But, you know, maybe uh, after uh, after a few years, we'll be finished yeah. here next year. I will uh, definitely. I will, uh, if I ever come here again, I will stay right here. Today, uh, today is a Saturday, you know, so yeah. too much traffic. Yeah. A lot of traffic. Uh, the very large room. It's, uh, that was their normal room, and 000, this is a suite. Eight thousand oh, two hundred. That would be about no, no, uh, about three hundred and fifty. Uh, three hundred more. Mm -hmm. three, three, uh, yeah, three hundred. Three hundred fifty. Oh, this is beautiful. Yeah. And the bedroom is about the same. Yeah. Yes. We don't want to leave. What a beauty.
Yeah. All free. Yeah. This is for the hotel. Oh, Tennis beautiful. courts and the pool. And then do you have an indoor pool, too? I got that. Uh, indoor. Oh, my. Uh, indoor. Indoor. Uh -huh. No. Okay. And, and what is that building? That's a sports, uh, sports club. Uh-huh. They have a... Uh, uh, the boarding area. area. Uh -huh. Okay. Beautiful. Look at the beautiful hills. Oh, this is beautiful. Yes, yeah, these hills beautiful. are beautiful. Uh, now, this what is, is that other building? Uh, yeah, where's the American Club? It's right here. American Club? Okay. Yeah, I've heard of that. Okay. <laughs> Thank you, Danny. Yeah, we're going to have a bowl of real cigarettes. No, there's no backs on the chairs. Well, we've tried the Elon, and we've tried the <laughs> jasmine tea, and now we're having the green tea. <laughs> you can bet those are hot things, and that's not cream, that's soy sauce. Thank goodness he didn't put it in his tea already. Oh, that's great. One in your index finger and your middle finger, and then you go down to get your food. Take a bite. Very good, Madam yeah. Chang. See there? Madam <laughs> Chang, very good. <laughs> now I don't know what to do with it. Okay, and this little pan has the spinach dumplings on the top. And then when you lift it up, there are egg noodle egg dumplings. Isn't that wonderful? Pork. Is that pork? Okay, that's pork. Cool. All right, pork and vegetables. And there's little sauces that aren't hot and the sauce that is hot. And vegetables. And the egg roll. There you go. We saw the swimming pool. Hiking the hill, hiking the hill. Oh, today. Oh, that would be great to hike the hills. Yeah. This is the name of the Chinese tea house. One one. You all are very, very kind. Where we just very finished a real Chinese dinner, and it was wonderful. Yes, I remember. And of course, here are their shops. And at the Grand Hotel, Taipei built against the mountain that is 30 meters high. So many beautiful things. Just look at this. The dinner? The dinner? No, $24 for our dinner and it was all made especially for us. Can't quarrel about that. Everything we had. Ivory. Okay. So you really have an appreciation. Still at the Grand Hotel having some ice cream. I'm having mango and Bill is having vanilla. A couple of hours, wrote some postcards from here and had Chinese dinner and then ice cream. And all of this uh, gray looking color is marble. In fact, the coffee shop was up on the mezzanine. Well, we're back in a taxi, going back to the Lai Lai Sheraton. This is just an unusual building.
adjacent to it. That is a government building. And then there is part that's the Sheraton. taking pictures of a room when we checked in and uh, yet I want you to see what one looks like when you've lived in it for five nights. This uh, red container has hot water and they furnish the teacups and little packets of tea. That's oolong tea laying there. We've uh, had jasmine which we even drank some of it last night and then the ice bucket and then that is a bottle of water that we've kept refrigerated. You can order breakfast in your room or you can eat at Antoine's which yesterday morning we ate there uh, called a silver breakfast. Silver service used for the coffee pot and so forth and a French restaurant. Very lovely, very well done. Then uh, this morning we're all ready to leave at uh, suitcases that you see there. The little black one is a carry-on, the gray one we checked through, and admittedly we had to buy another carrier for a couple of suits that we had made for Bill and my two-piece dress and jacket that we bought extra. And so we're just happy as a lark. They furnished house coats, terry cloth house coats every day, clean ones every day, and turned your bed down at night, made it up during the day, and then uh, there were light controls and radio controls on the nightstand. And the neatest little thing here is this flashlight. There is a light under the table that you can keep on if you'd like, uh, but if an emergency occurred, all you had to do was reach down, pick up the flashlight, and as soon as you take it out of the holder, it came on. Chest, a table which they delivered fresh fruit uh, a couple of times. On a small, there's a tall building right down through the middle here that we can't even see and normally we can't see it. Sometimes in the evening the air has risen to where we did see it. There once again this day, May the 9th. And they really make a lot of their Mother's Day. I don't think I mentioned, but Taipei is the capital city of Taiwan. I know there are about 21 million people in Taiwan, but I haven't seen and yet I'm going to try to find out how many people in Taipei. One person told us about a half a million, but I believe there's more than that. Yeah, this is a van that brought us to the hotel from the airport. It's a van that's taking us back. Here are the lace cleanliness. And I have no idea what that says, but it's welcoming so for the convention. Very busy hotel. This is the side of the hotel they are starting work on now, and that's to keep the debris from falling on people as they walk by. Thank you, Neil. 27, 26 degrees centigrade. This is the Sunday morning street scene.
trying to get rid of our last Taiwanese dollar, and believe it or not, we did it. We did it. This little lady that waited on us, I think she thought we'd take anything that she wanted to uh, suggest. But of all the selections here, we ended up with what we wanted, which was a horse out of stone and pineapple cake that's made here in Taiwan. And pineapple cake is very good. All right, gate 13, and we uh, may as well be flying out because it's raining outside. This is Delta Flight 56 to Portland, Oregon. Case here and checking in at the airport about an hour and a half early. We are now in the process of boarding. That is the economy class. This is the economy class, however, it's with our compartment seats. It's like economy business first class. Only difference we don't have the leather seats. There's a business right next to us. And then first class being like that. That one. Hi. How are you? That's good. Use room location. To use the cushion, pull it up from the back. Yeah, that appears to be a strong shower. Just about quit raining and we're out on the runway. Five are located throughout the cabin. And cleared for takeoff. Your CKS Airport. Meaning in accordance with federal regulations, these remainder attack me and take. Oh, God. 